Hello everyone! I recently visited Luna World with a stranger. So before we get into the video, a little bit of context. I am someone who makes content around curly, very frizzy hair. And I also give consultations to people uh, where they could either ask me their questions and they could get some product recommendations. I could analyze their hair and uh, sometimes I also take video calls where people style their hair and I then guide them step by step what they're doing and I can see the mistakes they're making. So this is how I met this stranger and we had a first call where it was a Q&A and then I recommended products. I told her what she can do, how to use them and then we decided that we would have a second call like where she would style her hair and i could guide her uh, on the video call live we decided why not let's do this in person because she lives in germany and she's pretty close to me so we thought why not let's just meet in person mind you this is still a stranger we have only spoken about hair ever and while we were having this conversation as to when we could meet where we could meet like the plan was we would meet on one of our places like either she would come here or I would go there and I have been itching for a trip I, I just I just suggested let's just go on a trip just to stop and she agreed like immediately uh, and literally on the same day we planned the destination we planned the accommodation we planned the travel tickets everything on the same day and that's it we just booked everything <laughs> and this is how it went I am going on my first trip in Germany just girls um, so I met someone through a hair care consultation uh, via Instagram and we really hit it off and all of a sudden we just decided let's go on a girl's trip. So I'm currently on the way to the railway station and I'll be taking a train to Hanover which is the nearest city um, and she'll be meeting me there and then we will be traveling to Lunenburg from there together. <laughs> My train leaves in another five minutes. I'm almost there, I'm gone. It's hard to tell just what I'm thinking. You think it's hard to see, but I must. So, the train that I wanted to take to Hanover just got cancelled. And I'll have to take the next connection, which is in another 20 minutes. Just German things. Sorry, Priya, you will have to wait. Okay, it's been way too long. It's rainy. Yes. And I'm not wearing a hoodie. I don't wear that part. She said because it has to match with my pants and the aesthetic I was going for. So this is what fashion can do. So don't let yourself be dependent on your clothes. What are you showing me? <gasps> Guys! You, you cannot tell it on camera, camera how yes, magnificent I mean, yes. this building is. We talk on the phone Every night Love to hear your voice happens when you try to be fashionable instead of actually you know caring about the weather <laughs> for way too long now if i can lay down beside you i would i would we had our lunch and we decided to go to our accommodation and uh, we took a bus and reached there see i did not really shoot these things because we kept talking and the, and the city was really really beautiful like between talking and looking at the city trust me it was sort of so difficult to shoot i remember when we were staring photo don't forget the way you look me in the eyes and i keep you in my heart my heart is where you are. I still think of you. I want you to me. <gasps> this is so sweet. And we have chocolates. Okay, this is the perfect spot for a couple. 
Crunch, the more your pattern will get enhanced in the next few weeks. Now you can see yourself. Wow! See, this side looks so pretty. Exactly! Oh <laughs> A very invalid path. <laughs> we are not supposed to be walking here or in the grass, and we took a grass path because we are late for our. We cleared it. We cleared the no walking zone. We walked in the no walking zone. I'm so glad they cannot find us who we are <laughs> because they have CCTV, CCTV cameras, I'm sure. But right now we are on a walking path. See, there is footpath. We can walk here. Finally. <laughs> Beautiful. We want to show you guys something. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready to die now. I've seen it. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been with <laughs> too long. If I can let I am going to ask Priya some questions based on her experience on styling her hair on her own before uh, we did it together and what was the difference when I guided her to style her hair. So, let's start from the first part. Shampooing you did it on your own. Coming to deep conditioner, what was the difference when you did it and what was the difference when I told you the different steps that you need to follow. Okay, uh, with the deep conditioning, uh, when I when I did by myself, mm -hmm. honestly, I could not feel the slippery thing. Mm -hmm. So it was like it's wet, mm -hmm. and then I keep it like as you said, 20 minutes this mm -hmm. conditioner mm -hmm. way. But then I could not feel the real slippery thing. Mm -hmm. But when you did, mm -hmm. I could really feel my hair was more slippery. The good part is, uh, uh, once uh, we are done after the 15 minutes, mm -hmm. you told to put little bit water on it, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, kind of you break know, it, break and it and in, make it more slippery with your more fingers. Slippery with my fingers. Uh. That's the point. I can see real two, uh, four mm. segments of my hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Before that, when uh. I do, I can't see that. Yeah. Another thing is our hair is slightly low porosity, which basically means that it takes some time to get wet and you know get slippery. That basically your hair is like saying I don't want the water. So her hair is a little like that. So what we did is we added a little bit of water, we did a little bit of squishing, we forced the water in a little bit and then it started becoming slippery and then slowly detangled it. And that made sure that your hair actually got clumped together. Yes, and it yes. Is, there is no frizz when it was wet, zero frizz. 
that's another thing you told me, right? Yes, because when I do by myself, I can see uh, there is uh, it's there the like the there is the, between the, the, the plums. Yeah. between the plums. Uh. Like, now it's like I can see four separate plums and there is absolutely no frizz. Exactly. That's what I understood. My hair is really wet. Mm. My hair is really deep condition. Yeah. This is one thing I always say. Your hair should be uncomfortably wet. This is something I told her also, and you never really. Understood what that really yeah, in but, a video call. Yeah, a video call, but it's like when you say it's wet, my hair was wet. Right. Uh, but then it's somehow it's rejecting uh, water or it's rejecting. Yeah, no matter how much water you put, it still doesn't it feel like still it's doesn't slippery. accept the water. Uh, yeah. It doesn't feel like slippery. Maybe there is a one point your level of uh, uh, slippery was uh, completely different from my mm. level of slippery. But then you said that slippery, it is. It really it feels really slippery. Yeah. Yeah. So the point that is very important here is you have to work with the product. So you have to rake it in for long enough for it to actually start showing its benefits. So that's one thing I think it was very clear after uh, we did it together. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And next, coming to the styling part, what was different? Uh, let's start with the leave-in condition. Mm-hmm. Or we used a leave-in com- cream, like something that has both moisturizing and color enhancing properties. So we used the hairless cream. So, with respect to the application, like how much are you be emulsified mm-hmm. and how wet your hair was and how you spread the product, how did you do it and like what was the difference when we did it? Okay, honestly, with the leave-in, I don't use water. Ah. I just put it and like this mm. without any water. I don't emulsify. Mm. I just uh, rake it upside down and do it. Uh-huh. But when you said you have to emulsify every product like milky, milky, mm. then it really activates the product. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is the first time I have used uh, with, with water. water. Oh. And then uh, you also taught us a trick uh, mm. like how to rake with the comb. Yeah. It really changed the game. Yeah. So uh, what she is talking about is when she was upside down. When any we are upside down and we have combed our hair, our hair is literally stuck to the scalp. That is what causes reduction in volume. You have to make sure that the hair is not stuck to the scalp. So I told her a trick as to how much to bend and how much to comb and which direction your hand should move so that it moves away from your scalp, gets unstuck. So that is what you are talking about. With respect to this uh, leave-in cream or gel, any time you take some product and you do this and you see straight line streaks now, that means it's not yet wet enough. So you have to add water till it becomes that like milky as if you had hand, you just touched milk. It should feel like that. The product should feel like that before applying. Only then it spreads really well and coats your hair really well. That's, that's what we did. Yeah, the image I had was like whenever I add water, it mm. might dilute the product. Point. That's huh. what in my head. Huh. So I don't want to add much yeah, water. You're scared that you're going to waste some Dilute product. the product so yeah. it uh, doesn't going to stick anymore. Exactly. But then when you said like if you make it milky and even a little Wait, bit Did you think that you lost any product you would go away? No, no, no it, it stays was in your palm. It stays in your palm because it's pretty sticky to palm itself. Mm-hmm. And start, when you start with less product, adding water will not create a lot of emulsified product that it will flow away. If you start with less product at a time, you emulsify, it stays in your palm. So what we did, we applied three times. We take little, little, little three times and we applied in different sections. sections and yeah. we went like front down and mm. this side and this, this side. side. And uh, you also taught me how to comb the mm, right that, way. Huh. Yeah. Like without disturbing the front side, mm. without disturbing the back side. You taught me the trick how to do this and that. That was really something new I learned today, but uh, which we couldn't do in the, the video, video call. Now. It is not possible. <laughs> it is not possible. <laughs> and tell me this. Coming to scrunching, mm. when you scrunched your hair, has your hair ever been like that way? that we saw no the very first point is like this deep conditioning was once done right ah. it was not very it was very easy to scrunch now yeah. because uh, because if they come together it's easy, it's to, easy catch to catch them ah. because if I do there were a lot of fizziness there and so I was all like open. <coughs> all open and uh, I'm like individually I'm crunching ah. this is like four bulk pieces I'm just crunching yeah. it was much easy yeah. and uh, it manageable and tell me this point. What do you think? Once you do this, whatever we did today, you do this four to five times and you get to know the steps. Do you think it will be a long process? No, once I get the uh, routine, I think maximum the, the styling will take 20, uh, 20, okay. 25 minutes. Okay. That's a big I'll, I'll see what you feel after four or five times and we'll see how it feels actually. Yeah. Yeah. But now I feel it's 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. But the big game changer is this uh, diffuser part. No, like diffuser part. Tell me this one. Once your hair was dry, you told me that when uh, before you style your hair, it used to be heavy. Mm. But this time I felt like you never applied product. No, absolutely zero product. I felt I feel I used to feel like neck pain, head pain, everything. Mm. But today it's like absolutely no product. Mm. It's like productless actually. Yeah. Like very light and it was so shiny and mm. glittering in the yeah. sun. Uh, it feels soft. soft. Yeah. yeah. So this. 
this happens when the product is spread everywhere properly if <laughs> if you did not emulsify and you apply na it just sits because it doesn't it cannot spread if in your palm itself it feels sticky it's going to feel sticky in your hair no matter how much water you have so when it doesn't spread it sits in one place and when you touch your hair it's product in one place and sometimes it's very frizzy in other place and you will see that there's no product mm-hmm. so when you emulsify it spreads well everywhere and it doesn't feel like it's sitting on top of your pocket mm-hmm. yeah Anyways, Anyways, thank you so much, and oh. uh, it was really a. Uh, I mean, oh, this is not decided. <laughs> no, this was like uh, something you know, like doing something in video call mm-hmm. and doing it's, something real. It's completely different. Yeah. If someone is offering me a, a like, if someone is doing some workshop or something, if mm-hmm. they say like we want to do in live or show me how that to do in live, fun. that will be lot of fun. I would really would have tried it earlier. That would yeah. be fun. Maybe we should try that. We should do that. Yeah, we should do that. Yes, okay. let's do that. So finally, we are done with our lunar bus trip, going to our homes. Yeah, it was so exciting and uh, so interesting. Then, yeah, it was so nice to meet someone from your out of your regular schedule all of a sudden. We only did one video call this before. Like we we did a consultation together and we decided to meet. I hope we, I can do this with other people also. I hope we can do this together with everyone. Everyone yeah. in Germany, yeah. at least. Will you guys come if we invite you? Would you come? I will be planning a workshop now, and I want to meet all of you guys. And I will probably announce it on Instagram. I it's okay if you don't follow me there, but maybe for the next few days, just have a look so that uh, whenever I post a story about it, you can uh, participate if you want to. And I hope that you like this video. And it would be great if you would like to subscribe to me. And it's completely okay if you don't. And I hope you have a great day ahead.